Well, most of the patients that they visit my practice is not for specific dental treatment. They just want to fix their teeth, simple as that. So this starts to change though, because of the, all of the information that exists in the internet now. So people that they're interested in their health actively and consciously look upon uh, a better and healthier solution. Unfortunately, according to the European Commission of Health, in my country, we have among the highest rates in smoking. And in addition to this, we have among the highest rates in obesity. That makes it really challenging to solve situations like periodontitis and missing teeth. So what I'm trying to do is I'm lowering my patient's toxicity profile so I make an optimum biology for them. Of course, traditional dentistry and periodontics is supposed to help our patients. It's designed for this, yes, but unfortunately, with the data that we know now, we know that in some of our patients, the long time exposure in some materials gives unwanted effects. Let's take, for instance, the Jacobi Gresser article, which shows that the release of microparticles can even trigger, can even be the initiator for perimplantitis. So what we are trying to do, what I'm trying to do in my office, is to see and minimize the risk factors in order to make the patients to overcome my problems, their problems, and to overcome their health issues, the smoking problems and the obesity problems and so on. So lower the toxicity of the materials in order to improve their immune response. Well, I'm a Swedish child. So I used to replace missing teeth with titanium dental implants and only the best of the best. Actually, I'm doing this in the last 27 years and the last eight, I solely place ceramic implants. And why do I do this? It's not because metal-free dentistry is in fashion. I do it for specific reasons, because despite my expertise, despite my efforts, despite the recalls, Unfortunately, I faced the phenomena of perimplantitis more and more often. The more my patient pool grew, the more I faced perimplantitis. This in combination with my personal interest in the immunological impact of several materials, among them titanium in the human body, led me to zirconia. So I was lucky enough to be introduced to zirconia and especially patent dental system, the form ZV3 system, and because I was trying to give my patients a healthier solution. Zirconia per se is a material, a healthier material, and why is that? Because zirconia is an inert, non-metal material. That means no galvanism, no corrosion, no inter or intracellular effects in my patients. That makes me really relieved and really nice, a really nice feeling. This in addition to the fact that zirconia has a lower surface-free energy, makes it easier for the patients to maintain their health, their brushing health, the habits of their health, because the material per se does not attract bacteria, does not make it easy for the biofilm to accumulate. And this leads to not only better looking and healthier looking tissues, but to better adaptation of soft and hard tissues around the implant. But dent system per se has some special features. First, it is a pure zirconia. It's not mixed material. Second, it, the procedure itself and the handling itself is so special that makes it a material, it's such material to overcome the problems of the former situations that we had with zirconia and a system that functions in the short run as titanium but in the long run better than this. Well, in collaboration with Dr. Fahrenholz in Vienna, 
and with the assistance of the University of Graz, we accumulated 39 patients and 92 implants, and we followed these patients to see what is happening. The prerequisite was minimum five years of function, minimum five years of clinical performance of zirconia in different clinical situations and prosthetic rehabilitations. Through this, we could follow these patients and see what is happening, not only in the heart tissue level, of course, but also in the soft tissue, how it reacts and how it goes through the years. Stay tuned to the retrospective study is going to be released this fall. What I'm, I can tell you already by now is that what we experienced and what we see that we have no perimplantitis. We can rely on this. We can see a good osseointegration, integration, stable tissues, both soft and hard tissues. So I really believe that if I would not have this specific implant system, I could not really achieve these results. It's for the moment, it is the best.